I'm really bad for my channel. I guess I bet, bet that's her pip. Hemp. Alright. No rock cream? Fuck no. Fuck no. It was gonna it was gonna be a long stream if this game was good, but it's not as good as The Walking Dead. Alright, chat. I'm gonna close you guys again. I might open it halfway through. If it oh, fuck. Alright guys. Fucking Christ. Come on, wave back. I don't got all fucking day. Just wave back so I can feel good about myself. Wave, 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 wave. Thank you. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. J. Ross is that four month buddy. Care of. Thank you. God bless. God bless. Mr. Toad. Do something, Big B. Before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cur- You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. It might be her. I promise. Thank you. For trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question! Don't change the subject! You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow! <laughs> no, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> You're gonna tell me, right now, what- Dad! I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the... Uh, they're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really a big ass bad, nose. but I didn't Jesus do it. Christ. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named... Fuck, man! This fucking lab dog only comes sniffing around this part of the world. Rich fucks in the woodlands need a shake to her. Ain't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but... Not by much. All right, then we ended up finding her dead. Is that where we're gonna start in this one? Finding her dead? Making this more difficult than it has to be. Are you interviewing me? If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now, if I'm honest. Fuck, I'm the like sheriff. Smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. I didn't think that was funny, in case you were waiting for me to laugh. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. Fuck, I'm looking at time. That's very helpful. Thank you. Give me another chance. I fucked up. Come on. I didn't mean to do that shit. His eyes. Are you 
Okay. You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I just said that. Is there something... Now. What the fuck is going on? You should be thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive. But it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. Was this guy like a wizard? Did he make it? Did he buy it? He's sketch as fuck, too. Him and Beauty are sketch as fuck. anything. Fine. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. There was... It, 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 what the fuck? Bluebeard the is currently interrogating him. There's two of them, Dee and Dumb. And they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. Uh. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning. And I already miss her, too. I thought it'd be more. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Dwelling on this shit isn't helping. Well, I apologize if my attempt at handling this has disturbed you, Bigby. But I thought we had some common ground. I don't like you, you old fuck. Just forget it. I don't know why I'm asking you, but did she give any indication as to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know uh, that she was... She told me to be careful. I, I told fine, her to be careful, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. She just... Told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Big B. I know. Yeah. I know. I give her that wolf dick. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to have to put an end to this. We don't have to talk. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. Stand at the doorstep. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby, for Miss White. I got it. I kneel. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on, just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? 
Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of he, any good ones. What's his accent? Though I'd he settled like, on, how's like your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Do you think this is a joke? Snow Fuck, White is him. dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. Your brother. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. I know you're up to something. What is it? Well... Right now, I'm sitting here. See, you know, let's, let's hit him. <laughs> you didn't feel it. You hit him in the gut. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Show you know, I really like spending time with you, Bigby. Look, you're so pleasant. I wasn't gonna do anything, but I'll try it. Oh, what the fuck? Show him. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. This is why we're here. Someone killed this woman. And we need to know it. who. Really I get it. it. I do. But I can't tell you what I don't know. I can't even look at it. I don't think you did it. Just tell me what you're up to. Look, Big B. We're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He Who didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. He can light the cigar and put it on his finger. I'll put this it on his hand. This will have him going in circles. He's getting somewhere. Cash, eh, there ain't really, there's no reason to do that. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? I'm declaring a tax on uncooperative troublemakers. That's for damn sure. You taking out a loan? You might not like the interest on that. You'll need to account for that. You can't just... There are procedures to be followed. Uh, we'll talk about it later. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now. You mentioned Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. Ooh. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more Just about fucking it. beat his ass, dude. Keep punching him, fuck it. <laughs> fuck! <gasps> So, this is how it's gonna be. What are you doing? Getting answers. I told you to keep yourself under control. Uh, let me handle this. You're getting hit again. He already knows it. What Blue did you it. want from Faith? I didn't want shit from that little thief. But More she's trouble still. than she's worth. I could say the same about you. What did she steal? Must have been valuable. I don't know. It was just some dumb thing my boss was after. What did you say? Boss. Your boss. So let's talk about your boss then. Come on, D. It's clear you're just following orders. So who's calling the shots? No, I'm fucking done. Jesus Christ, here we go. Pick it up, light it, put it in his fucking mouth. Put it in his finger. Yep, here we go. Abuse, torture, I love it. I'm saving that. Nope, it's going right. Where's hand? Ah! Fuck! Stop, you fucker! 
You're not gonna be Batman. Last chance, Steve. Who are you working for? Fuck you! You're a piece of shit, Bigby! Beauty was wrong about you! You're just a sick- Beauty? You're full of shit. I knew it. Oh, beauty. we're good friends. That's enough. I will not tolerate this savagery. You think someone was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? It's your violent behavior and inability to control your nature that caused this mess. If it weren't for you, Snow might still be alive. You want to talk about Snow? You treated her like shit your whole career. Better take the blame for your incompetence. Now you can. What's going on down here? We got talking pigs, we got magicians, we got fucking woodmen, we got wolves, we got toads, we got people coming back to life and getting their head cut off. About to be a long wood, isn't it? Here we fucking go. I've been sleeping for 40 hours. Potion. Probably not the real one, actually. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back Wait, here wasn't what? easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. If it's not Faith's body. I'm glad you took answer care of that. question. Thanks. Such a fake. Snow? What is it? Are... are you gonna be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened. I'll be fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this. The fuck is I going just on? Like... What is it? I just... I feel... Responsible, in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. Who did they get? We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. Oh, the glamoured spell. I mean, okay. that's what it is, right? Or maybe this bitch is glamoured. So, What's our hmm, next move? Thinking. I'll figure this out. She's Don't worry. Her. And what am I supposed to do? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. Yes, sir. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm and... not yours to lose. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... Myself. Right.
Jay is Toad's uh, son. Are they leaving the office? Fucking room again. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I, I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. I want to talk to Toad and TJ. Toad is a snake. Oh, that's enough. Hey, Amira, vanish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. <laughs> but I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough! Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. Don't we need to talk to, to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. I wonder what he looks like unglamored. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Big B. I'm talking. You do anything to hurt me, boy. It's okay. I don't know if I should let him know that I care about his feelings. Are you okay? Obviously not. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's from Harvest of Beauty. Oh no, he means the it's dead lady. Okay, son. Take your time. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too, <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific Shh. rules. You have to stay quiet and Shh. out of sight or Shut bad up. things can happen. I told you! You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Shut the fuck not up! this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you see who it was? No. <laughs> Did you hear anyone laughing? No. <laughs> Did you hear anything else? 
he's done. He's I'm done. sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. So nice. Okay, son. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. I hope I can keep DJ alive. Oh, well, I don't know if it's like The Walking Dead or not, where you, where you can, like... I guess it's not survival. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? The girl? Yeah. Come on. I could've used the fucking mirror again, couldn't I? Oh, my goodness! I almost forgot. I could've used the fucking mirror again to go see like what like the axe guy's doing. Bluebeard, Beard, Dom Deal Do, Tweedle Dom Tweedle Do, whatever the name is. Shit. Similar. I didn't realize... I've never seen her face before now. This is... weird. Yeah. The glamour is so effective, it's... invasive. But... just do what you need to do. Oh, I see, 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 I see... Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. There's probably more up her skirt. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless... Show your legs. Don't be ridiculous. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles, so she would sink. Oh. Nothing in there. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. I leave it alone. What are you doing? Only way to find out. Jesus, Big P. Now it's it. What is it? Hours. Yeah. Oh, I get it. It looks just like Faith's did. It's not an axe. It's like did a Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Can Duffkin, you... do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It's possible it's designed not to. Can you be glamoured after you die? Designed not to hide track marks? Good point. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Yeah, they didn't use one Unless for Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Hey, you're right. You established that it's not wrong. good glamour. I wonder... What? 
Snow. I need uh, to open. If the titties snow. are the same as as Snow's titties, I Take gotcha. Me. Just let me. Nah. This. We're making progress. Let's see what else we can find. The thong strap. I... Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here. Now that you're done burning people, what have you found out? Her glamour is defective. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind Excuse of thing. Cut? Yes. We Wait. should keep going. Are you wearing silk lingerie snow? <laughs> Why do you want to know? See if it matches! Just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. Fucking spine. What is that? It's your perfume. How did... You know what perfume I wear. You can't fool this nose. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic, though witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's uh, some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Uh, Will you keep quiet? Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Uh. Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm going to try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Ooh, a puzzle. I like puzzles. Get right there. Bird's flying? That's it. Uh, how do I... Wait, maybe, need, maybe it's a dog, a squirrel, a bunny! Horse. A white horse. Reindeer. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Of snow? Someone must have taken this from my apartment. And your hair. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think this was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Dude, I feel like on this game they they overstay Let on me guess. scenes. It's my hair. Yeah. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homeland. It's not Holly. Holly was orange. Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little. Oh no. What is it? Oh. It's not Holly. It's her sister Lily. She was reported missing, but I. I guess it just slipped through the cracks. 
We have to go tell Holly. Jesus, Holly's right. gonna flip shit. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. Uh, ew. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. I'll protect her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. I feel Crane is so sketch, so toad. So is fucking the axe and lumberjack. For fuck's sake, everybody is, dude. Beauty is. Beast isn't. Beast is real. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and Drama. always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... That's some bad news, sweetheart. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Best shit to say this time, do you, buddy? Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Please. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose I hate weight. People like it's this. amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? I hate people that are that obnoxious. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? <laughs> Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. What the hell, Crane? Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach Shut of up! legislative duties. Big B, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to- Jack, find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. He fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Do something about it. Cat got your nerve. What happened? Do something about it. What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor, or wait outside, or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. I kinda wanna fight and him. shit, Gren's sister- Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy! Ah, fuck! What'd I do? Just stop talking, Jack. Ah! Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Grant, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. Hi, oh, Jack. Actually, have there been any updates? I'm gonna be straight with her. Ellie, your this sister's dead. dead. She's the one we found early this morning. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess, Snow fucking White, is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? Do something about it, please, dude. You'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us. She might have been safe. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> I have to ask Holly some questions. Christ, give her five minutes. Do you say anything, Snow? 
unscripted. Holly. Get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. Know what I mean? I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. I wish we had time to reminisce, but we really don't. It's fine, just give her a minute. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Do anyway. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by. That's it. what I mean. You like, any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh, God. I'm sorry. That was probably about. She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. Like, I feel if like I should be much, able to ask we don't one have thing to do this. be done, like... Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Let's Lily. go. That's helpful. I'll check into it. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna yes. have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of... It, it's a formality with trolls. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down I to the business shit. office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Okay, I can sit. Really? Thanks. It just made everything easier. I just break that? Hard to tell which girls are pretty, which girls are glamoured. Snow White. Oh, I'm with Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty, but the club's closed. <laughs> not quite what I meant. That's too bad. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. Wait, is this a male? I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I don't much care how he feels about it. Ah. I feel like this guy is you just, two will like, get along just swimmingly. Me, basically. He doesn't give a fuck. Is a badass, can fuck up anybody. Pretty, gets pretty big as a temper. 
Ain't play no bullshit. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. You can skip the spiel. Save it for the customers. Always looking for more customers. Oh. Okay. All right. Ah, for fuck's sake! What do you think you're doing? She's trying her best. You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. I can take it from here. Okay. Good luck. Okay. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? You're supposed to turn the clients on. That's your job. Okay. You want them to... Hey. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Don't care. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. Mm. We're not finished. Come on, fight. Come on, fight. Come on, fight. Sure. Oh, she liked Whatever that. you say. I'm gonna beat her. After I leave. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what. Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. <laughs> Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, <laughs> or one that will put up a fight? <laughs> Fuck you, Georgie. Fuck you, Georgie. It's the big bad wolf. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. You oh, know, no. um, it's illegal to me, impersonate yeah. another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. Jesus, here we fucking go. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Where's his armpit hair? Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then! You're gonna hit me! Go ahead! Cut the oh, shit. no, fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! Welcome. You Give me proud your of yourself, after. mate. Proud of your little mess. Fuck's sake. Don't, tough guy. Don't fuck. Come on. Fuck off, hands. It's a male. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? 
hands just the big cleans guy? up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that voice that? is not Isn't there a body? little book with all the stuff <laughs> about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. Ooh, I could, this would... <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Sorry. Oh no! You unbelievable prick! Hey now! Not gonna break anything else. Unless he says something stupid. Cut the here. crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. All right, there it Again. Goes. Don't even think about it. There goes your TV. Jesus fuck! Talk! Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Oh, well, well. well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Done piss pissy pouting, bitch. Oh, was it good for you, Sheriff? Next time, I'm gonna have to charge you. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alpha. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. This is a dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle a happy tune. Fucking unbelievable. Bloody come on, then. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. Probably could have skipped all crap. those and just broke the boombox. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Appreciate it, buddy. Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie. Who's this Mr. Smith? Oh, dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. John Secrecy Smith. is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Fucking Christ. Hello? Hey, back business to this fucking office. Girl. Snitch. Oh, over here. What a disgusting fucking snitch, dude. Yeah, that's right. Nasty fuck. Two more naked girls. Hmm? Hmm? That's the question, yeah? Let me left in a hurry. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. 
Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. It has to be the guy at 207 then. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Honey. Oh, shit, there's more. Okay, okay. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I'm here now. Yes. <laughs> okay. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. <gasps> Oh! Once upon a time. Does that help? You have legs. Had a glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. Little Mermaid. What did that time's come to? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. Fuck, bitch. This is Sorry, a I'll murder see. case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. Murderer, though. It's how things work here. I don't give a damn about your guarantee. I need you to cooperate. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. Talk. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Yeah? What exactly are you suggesting? We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Listen to. Oh! Okay. What would I need to do? Sign up. I need 150. It's not good to be short. I stole that money. I stole the money from the bank. Nice. Like two ones, a twenty, and a five. <laughs> Wait here for a second. Number all. God, I chose the money. Not two oh seven. You'll think of something. Coming with me, sweetheart. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. You gonna be there, babe? But, but, oh, 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 but, okay.
Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Uh. Oh. Uh, Wait, you need? I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is I mean, a proud beauty man, was at the same place he wants to do right these girls were at. He, it's he so just hard. couldn't handle so it if he knew hard. I had to do this so we don't get evicted. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? Room 204. Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but... she came off a tad intimidating. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her. You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. No more, no more pissy patter, woman. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Watch your back. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be I'll filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that... I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? She I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see you report. It's just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Disney game? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Doesn't work. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could just break in the door if you prefer. No, don't! I'll help you. Just don't break anything. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, Bring it down. but... It's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? Oh, How fuck. could you do this He's to me? Think I'm fucking this No, bitch. sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me. No, With boy. him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. Chill. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. I'm sure you help each other just great! Settle down, these little places. guys. Come Relax, on. Beast. It's not what you think. Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm mad! <laughs> Chill, dude! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! Listen to your wife! Calm down and- Beast! You don't, don't want to have to hurt you, buddy. <laughs> Shit, I panicked. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! <laughs> Chill, <laughs> dude! I told you! What the fuck is that? <laughs> Don't want to hurt this guy. I like him. I saw that movie back in the day. Leave him be. This is my fault. Please, no. I don't understand. 
Down. You don't gotta kill him, man. Bigby, no! Don't hurt him! Chill. He's gonna do something out of me. Isn't he? Yep. <gasps> Chill. You ruined everything! Peace. She's my fucking wo- <sighs> Shit, Bigby. What have you done? What? What is this? Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You, you don't want to see this! Jesus Christ. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? Stay in the hall! <gasps> oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this- is this- Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then- Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... so that's... Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? So working. It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But- Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Why are your eyes still red, dude? Put your horns away. What the fuck you doing? That's some composure. Bigby, man. what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Oh, there could be something in here. Recording? Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. We shouldn't even be in here. Jail, it's okay. This. Set? I can put this in the, in the fucking cassette player. Is that a logbook? Story book. <sighs> An apple! Poisonous. Can you smell something? No. Just apple. She took a bite of it. Get a minute. Wait a minute. Didn't Snow White take a bite out of a poisonous apple? She went under like into a coma. Like the the witch like put like gave her the apple. Pretty sure. Bigby, this. I think I heard this music. Last night, it was playing pretty loudly for a while, and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here, and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Really quiet. You move, bitch. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you that. Don't. You call you a bitch, lady. I'm sorry. Give me. DNA. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story. Mund anyway. I think Mundy means human. The whole book is about her? Yeah. 
Hmm. What is it? I think the apple is part of his fantasy about Snow White. That would explain the one we found on the floor. Oh, no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. They were acting out the thing with her stepmother and the apple, which is really creepy when oh, you Oh, it was her stepmother, it. but she was a witch. You know, she almost died when... Uh... Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. Oh no. What? What is it? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. Slip this is just off. bizarre. This guy really has a thing about snow. It's like pathological. Why? I'm getting that feeling. Yes. Oh my God, that poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. She must have been so Is somebody in here? Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? Um. This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it. To recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It's another match to what's in the book. I'm three God, for three, baby. Let's go. I can go. see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. The sheriff, Thanks. bitch. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only, then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. Build her up. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Leave. Pictures of the dead girl? Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. That's why he was such a fucking asshole to her. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. I bet Crane dies. 
and it ends up being somebody else. Watch. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? <laughs> You can suck my BBMFC if you think I'm going to keep on playing this fucking game, boys. You got me fucked up. Are you kidding me? That was the longest piece of shit I've ever seen. You guys literally wasted my time playing this shithole.